<laughs> G'day Planet Earth, welcome to this week's show. Now, to start the show, we're going to talk about this crazy thing going on in New York and LA. The time sharing of dogs. Absolutely, it's crazy. It's we nuts. have got an expert, of course, on this situation. It's A-list dog walker to the stars, to the Elliot stars. Jones. Elliot, matey, can you um can you let us know what what is this all about? Well, Pete, this is a devastatingly stupid plan. I mean, apart from the fact that it confuses the animals themselves, I mean, they don't know whether they're Arthur or Martha half the time. You got one owner one week, you got another owner one week, you got a, another owner. I mean, God only knows what's going through these dogs' minds. And you know what? Just like kids. These dogs are just chucked into the back room on the weekend with an Xbox and God only knows what will happen then. I mean, you give a dog a, a controller for a PlayStation, it don't know what to do. I mean, it might accidentally get through the first few levels of Halo just by pure coincidence, but if you start saying to that dog, press A, press A now, press B, all it does is go off and fetch the slippers for you. I mean, it works out in the end, I suppose, but what does it do for the dog? I mean, a dog can't even put its initials in for the high score. Fascinating, fascinating. And Elliot, how is this affecting your business? Well, I didn't want to go into that, but it's really bad. I'll tell you how it's affecting my business. My business dropped right off, dropped right off. Just like when you put a band around a Doberman's tail. It falls off and it wriggles and slowly dies and petrifies right before your very freaking eyes. You know what I mean? I mean, a dog is for life. Just not a Saturday afternoon like a red-headed stepchild. Mm. No, I agree. I mm. agree. So, Elliot, what do you think the solution is to this situation? Well, I'll tell you what, Janelle, I'll tell you what the solution is. Do what normal people do. And that's get married, have a kid, get divorced, and then see it every second weekend. I mean, what's better than a dog? A kid. There you have it. On behalf of the Australian Government, we sincerely and unconditionally say sorry for ever throwing a shrimp on the barbie. Hey! And welcome to another episode of Entertainment This Week with CJ. Hi, I'm CJ. Well, uh, Britney Spears new, she's back in hospital, uh, which isn't any good, but she's having a good time with all the uh, flupentexel and Valium. Great combination, get you really going. And she's wearing uh, the hospital robe back to front so you can see her vag. We also unconditionally and sincerely Say sorry for Yahoo Serious. Hi, welcome to Helpful Hygiene Hits for Him with me, Heidi. Number 27. Buy seven pairs of undies, one for each day. On behalf of the Australian Government, we sincerely and unconditionally say sorry for Crocodile Dundee 2 and 3. We're sorry. Welcome back. Now, in Mexico, we've got some great news. The uh, world's fattest man, who weighed something like 540 kilograms. That, that is amazing. That's like over half a ton, oh, Pete. Know, know. And how much weight did he lose? Well, he lost 270 kilograms. Wow, that's so an amazing feat. It's just over half his well, weight. Well, it's more than feet, but you know what I mean. <laughs> So they stuck him on a flatbed truck, drove him around town to celebrate. Yeah. Um, so, with all the hoo-ha going on, we managed to track down his fiancée. That's right. Uh, Brandy, are you there? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm here. Brandy, you seem very upset. What's, what's going on? <laughs> I don't think anybody understands what a selfish asshole Manuel is. <laughs> well, uh, we, we thought you'd be happy about him losing all this weight. He used to be somebody. He used to be 
a 540 kilo man, and now he's just normal size like the rest of them. Do you think the phone's ringing now? Do you think Sally Jesse's calling? Do you think Jerry Springer's calling? There's no way Oprah's calling now when he's 250 kilos. Okay, um, right. Um, well, what, what, what attracted you to him in the first place? We met on the internet. <laughs> He's here the night with Mexican man me. And I've always liked a big man, you know. I love a man that's really, you know, big and makes me feel, you know, thin. <laughs> you know, I met him and he had these beautiful outfit on, you know, made out of theater curtains. And now... <laughs> <laughs> he just at the stores like a regular person. Oh, all right. Okay. Um, well, um, wh wh how do you think this is all going to end? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I always said that I was sick with men well through thick and thin. But now that I've got thin, I don't like it. <laughs> all right. Thanks, Brandy. <laughs> Thank you. Good luck. Wow, I guess you can't have it all. No, I guess you can't. On behalf of the Australian government, we sincerely and unconditionally say sorry for Russell Crowe, even though he's not Australian. And now it's time for the psychic and the sidekick. Ooh yeah, ooh yeah. Ow, that hurt. I told you it would. Psychic and the sidekick. Ooh yeah, ooh yeah. Hello and welcome. After fossicking through my feces and reading my tea leaves and reading his palm, I realized that Baraka Obama will win a two-dollar scratchy. Oh, sorry, no, uh, the election in November. Well, it's either a scratchy or the election. He'll win one or the other in, in, in November. Could be September. Hard to say. October, though, out of the... September, October, November, scratchy or the election. It's, it's one or the other. It's... it's uh... <laughs> And finally, on behalf of This Funny Week, we sincerely and unconditionally say sorry for this dodgy running gag. Are there any questions? Yes, Laurie. Well, well, that's it for another week. Thanks everyone, see you next time. Bye. <laughs>